Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin, aka Doug Koala, for those of you guys that don't know. And welcome back to another Townie episode. So, uh, it's been a little bit of a gap between episodes. I asked you guys on my last video if you guys could smash 150 likes. I would combine parts 4 and 5 because these parts, like these stories, um, these parts have been really, really short. And so I definitely have been wanting to make them a little bit longer for you guys. And so I put a like goal and uh, there's a little bit of a, of a space between the videos because it took you guys a little bit to get that like goal. But you finally did it. You finally reached it. So now I'm going to be releasing parts 4 and 5 for you guys in one big video. So thank you guys for smashing those likes. Um, let's see if we can smash 150 likes on this video. If we can, I'll make sure to get parts six and seven. Are those, are those, that's what they are? Yeah, six and seven. Those are the next parts out for you guys as well. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I would definitely appreciate that as well. And, and if you guys are new to the channel, you guys might think, dude, this guy has a lot of freaking energy. What's going on? In case you guys didn't know, I am sponsored by G Fuel. Um, it is like an energy drink company and everything. Basically, it's like a healthier version of like Red Bull or Monster or anything like that. There's there's zero calories, or no, 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 there's 25 calories, there's zero sugar. It's actually a dietary supplement. It comes in like a powder form that you put in water and then you shake it up. And they make these really, really cool like sugar cups and everything. Um, I have a friend by the name of Nick at night who's a big Clash Royale YouTuber and everything. Here's his shaker cup. I'm actually drinking a flavor called Mystery Flavor and it tastes exactly like Fun Dip. Like it's literally so good. And if you guys didn't know, your boy is partnered with them. You guys can use my code DK at gfuel.com to get 10% off of your entire order off of like tubs, shaker cups, like starter packs, all that jazz. So make sure you guys check G Fuel out. Links in the description down below. And if you guys haven't checked out the previous parts, links are down below as well. This is going to be like, like parts four and five. So um, spoilers ahead, obviously. So with all that to the side, let's go ahead and get into parts five and six, or no wait, four and five. Enjoy. Hey Darren, Jay, girl, what up? Could this finally be my long awaited booty call? D, we are never getting together. You're far too good a friend for that. Ah, uh, can't blame a guy for trying. But seriously, what's up? I need your help on a little project I'm working on. Sure, what you need? When you were helping out your dad at his PI agency, did he ever teach you any like surveillance techniques? Yeah. Sit real low in the seat of your car, bring Tums for all the crappy drive through food you'll be eating, and stay off your freaking phone. D, I'm being serious. This is so not helpful. Wait, you're not kidding, are you? No, I'm not. What are you planning? You gonna follow a boyfriend or something? No. An ex-boyfriend? No! It's nothing like that. I'm following a St. Bethany student. What? Long story. Oh, St. Beth's drama? You private school kids get up to so much trouble. I'm following her now. I'm in the Castle Heights neighborhood. Do you know it? Yeah, it's really rough. Lots of crime, lots of gangs. Jay, I don't like you being there alone. I've got to figure out what she's doing in this part of town. Um, educated guess. Tapping the townie underground? Who are you following? I can't tell you. Jay, if you want my help, you got to be straight with me. Okay, okay. It's Finley Baker. Oh! Hell no! I thought she was a model St. Beth student and like valedictorian or something. She is. But Finley's got a dark side. A very dark side. Little Miss Finley Baker? Who would have thunk it? She's going into the Sons of Justice pool hall. There's no one at the door. I'm going in. Jules, don't! Don't what? Don't go in there! D, calm down. You're overreacting. Jules, I'm not. I'm serious. Don't go in there. Okay, this is getting a little like, I gotta take a G Fuel break, hang on.
Ooh. All right. Ooh. All right, we're back. What is your problem? There are very hardcore criminals in there. Seriously, the place hosts happy hours for felons. Okay, D, I take it back. You weren't kidding. This bar is a crap hole and full of a bunch of really big bald guys with scary tattoos. I'm tattooed. Just find a quiet corner, keep your head down, and don't eat the peanuts. Okay, I found a spot. Do you see her? No, not yet. You want me to come over there and wait with you? I got my dad's car. I can literally be there in 10 minutes. I mean it, Jules. You know I owe you big time. You tried so hard to get me that job at your father's real estate company. Don't remind me of my failure in that regard, D, please. Don't worry about it. They didn't want a townie on the payroll. I get it. I mean, I really, really could have used the money, but I'm over it. D, she's here. She's in a booth by herself. It looks like she's waiting for someone. What on earth is she doing here? That depends on who she's meeting up with. You do realize two thirds of St. Bethany's students rely on a townie to feed their vices, right? Of course I do. Well, where do you think they meet? The local library? Okay, the, the bartender just slipped her a note. Now she's headed out back into the alley. I'm gonna follow her. Jules? I don't think that's a good idea. Damn! She got into a car with a guy, scary looking guy too. What kind of car? Vintage yellow Mustang. Did you catch the license plate number? No. Oh shoot! I pinged Leek Mukulu earlier today and he's texting me back. I gotta go. Jay, the car, the yellow Mustang. Yeah, from like the 60s or something. Look, you go do what you gotta do. I think I know how to find out who owns that car. Alrighty guys, that is going to be it for the townie parts four and five. So we got Jules going into like this like spotty little bar, no idea what to expect. She goes in there, there's a bunch of scary looking bald men with tattoos apparently. And this chick just got a note from the bartender. Like why, I feel like this is a lot more conspicuous than just like teenagers like meeting up. Like why is the bartender in on this type of thing too? Like what the freaking heck? Why is he slipping like notes to like teenagers and everything? And like, it's like, hey, here you go, you know, type of thing. Like what the heck? And then so she goes back into the alley, which is not, you know, like that's conspicuous in and of itself. And then she gets into a car with a scary looking dude with a yellow Mustang. If you would not catch me in a car in an alleyway, you wouldn't catch me in this scenario in general, but like in an alleyway with someone with a yellow Mustang, are you freaking kidding me, bruh? Like a yellow Mustang? Okay, whatever, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to drop a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I would definitely appreciate that. Drop a like on this video. We need 150 so I can get parts, what, what parts? Six and seven out for you guys. So make sure you guys drop the like. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I love you all so very much. Hopefully I'll see you guys soon in the next parts of the townie. But until then, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. This has been your boy Austin, a.k.a. Duck Koala. Peace out. <laughs>